Are you looking for the fastest and cheapest way to transfer and buy FIFA 15 coins? Then check out the video in the description, there's a link in the description to a video that I've previously made on how to transfer coins at the quickest pace and also buy coins the best way. This is another method on how to buy coins, but if you don't want to use this method, the link in the description to another video is even better and even faster, so go use that one there. Also for the cheapest coins run, use the link to XTMomo in the description, use the discount code WARD with two for a 4% discount, get your cheap coins now, and enjoy the video. <laughs> so, EA have messed up again. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm McKenzie, and today is a massive video. Today, I am going to be giving you a tutorial on how to buy FIFA 15 coins after the Transfer Ranges update. Now, you might be thinking, how is this possible? They've capped prices. Well, guess what? Coin sellers have found a way, and EA have just absolutely screwed themselves over by trying to do this. Not only have they lost the money because people do not want to play the game anymore, not only is trading now just not possible, not only are people not going to buy the FIFA 16 game, and not only are people not going to buy FIFA points because they're so over expensive, but they've also just let coin sellers come back into the game. So EA have just ruined themselves and it's just so good to see. So pretty much if you've been under a rock for the past week or two, EA have introduced these things called transfer ranges. Now what these plan to do is add a cap, a maximum and minimum for every single player in the game, even the consumables, they're maxed at 150 star price and 5,000 buy now, which you would think completely wipes out coin selling. That's where you're wrong. You see, EA forgot one one little thing, the fact you can buy a player for 50k and relist them for 100k. And coin sellers have caught up on that pretty quickly and they've already found a way to sell coins again. Now the way that I am going to explain in a moment is a little more complicated, a little bit more time consuming than the last method before the update, but guys, you've got to remember this. It is still going to be so much cheaper just to buy these coins, spend a little more time getting them, a little bit more difficult, but you're going to save yourselves lots of dollars. Now, 12,000 FIFA points is $150. That is an that's a joke just Quite simply, that is pathetic. And before the update, a million, as I've said before, was like $5. That's a massive saving. But now with this new method, you're going to still save lots and lots of dollars. And I'll explain that in a second. But if this video does help you out, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, advice, video sessions down below. Be sure to share it as well so other people can see this. And we can just give EA for once the big FU in kind of just destroying their whole idea of price ranges to let's be fair they just did it for the money not because they want other people who don't put money into the game to have a fairer chance they just wanted more people to buy FIFA points which is understandable but no one's going to unless they put them down from $150 I mean like seriously who in their right mind wants to spend double what the game itself costs on getting 80 packs but anyway that has been enough talking it's time to get into explaining how to actually buy these coins it's quite complicated but at the same time, it's quite simple if you understand it. That was more complicated than the actual buying of it altogether. Now, not every single site, I don't think, have this method working yet. Some of them have just stopped completely. But what we are doing today is you go to a coin site. I use XTMMO pretty much because before the update, they were the cheapest I could find. They were $5 on PS4 for a mil. And now, even after the update, they're still pretty cheap, so you're still going to be getting a good deal with it. And no, I'm not sponsored by any coin site, so I'm not saying use a 5% discount code. I'm not sponsored, so that's just the site I use. I trust it, and it's already worked for me many times, so you guys can go check it out yourself. But pretty much what they ask for is they don't have simply just 800k, 900k, 1 million, 1.2 million anymore. They have it much more complicated to do with this. Now to buy coins is a little bit more complicated as I've said before. But pretty much when you go onto a coin site, let's just use XTMMO for an example. They have a list of all the coins you can buy. On this it's 99k, 109k, 129k, 149k, 169k and so on. Then they have the price of what you're going to pay for 99k. It is 63 Australian dollar at this moment. Then they have a view player for a recommended player to list up. Now let's say you're going to buy 99k which is the smallest 
the mount, it's only 60 cents, very, very cheap. And you click on view players, there is a list of two players. There's Robert Lewandowski, and I think it is that inform Chupa Moting from Schalke. And it pretty much says that their minimum buy is around 60k, and their maximum buy is around 100k. Now what you do is you buy, the say, Lewandowski for 60k, and then you relist them for 100k in the checkout, and you just put down your normal details, say your club name, your email address, your phone number, what you usually put down before the update, except now the buy now price will only be 99k or 129k or how much you bought and pretty much straight away they will buy your player. Now the only problem of this is you'll probably be thinking well I've just spent 60k on Lewandowski I've listed him for 99k that's only about 40k profit and I bought 99k well that is the problem it's not getting 99k it's selling the player for 99k. I used a different example, I used Dybalo or whatever his name is, the Argentinian guy from Pal Palamo. I went and bought him for 70k and listed him for 109k and then within minutes he was sold and I had my money. And that only cost me 70 cents for a 40k profit. Now I know this isn't as much as before the update but if you go through it a lot and you can list a lot of other players and you'll get more money straight away. But of course to do a lot of this say to buy Ronaldo and list him for 3 million over what he's worth, you're already gonna have to need the money so you are gonna do this on a smaller scale, say you've only got 100k, you buy a player worth 100k and you're going to sell them for 150k. I hope you guys have understood that. If you want me to do another video explaining this a little bit more, because I know this might have been a bit complicated and they might be bringing out new methods on how to buy coins. So if you do want to see that, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, advice, video suggestions down below. Comment if this has helped you. It'd be awesome if you could subscribe if this has helped you and also hit the like button and share it, of course. And tell me if it has worked for you. But yeah, I will bring out another video, maybe in a few more days, if you guys do not fully understand and you want me to explain it a bit more. But I have got my money and if it, you guys are too confused just ask me in the comment section. And I will comment it for you guys. But that is going to be it for now. Go check out my Instagram, Twitter and my game channel. Links are all in the description. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope it has helped you really. It is just massive. Everyone should go buy some coins just to stick it to EA one more time. But guys thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. And I will see you later.